Peppa and George are in their bedroom playing with their toys. George, let's play dollies and dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It looks like a horrible monster. Dinosaur. <laughs> Daddy Pig is in the sitting room reading his newspaper. Mummy Pig is reading her book. What are they doing? Ah, help! Help! <laughs> Peppa! George! What's going on? <laughs> what's all this noise? Wow! Help! Oh! oh. What on earth is going on? What a lot of noise! And look at all this mess on the floor. Someone could trip over and hurt themselves. Someone did trip over and hurt themselves. Oh dear, poor Daddy Pig. <coughs> Come on, children, let's do a bit of tidying up. But Mummy, we're playing dollies and dinosaurs. You can play again when you've tidied up. But it's all George's mess. Is it really? So this must be one of George's lovely dresses. <gasps> no. <laughs> or maybe some of the mess is mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll help George tidy and Mummy Pig can help Peppa. We can have a race. Girls against boys. Good idea. Let's see who can tidy up first. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> We're winning. No, you're not. <laughs> there. Oh, what's this? Teddy, I've been looking for you. Quick, Pepper, put Teddy in your toy basket. <laughs> there. Now these books. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> What do we have here? Dinosaur! That's right! It's a dinosaur book. It's George's pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Oh, this is a Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And this is a Triceratops. Triceratops. <laughs> well done, George. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Daddy, George, you've stopped tidying up. You'll lose the race. <laughs> oh, yes, the race. Come on, George, put this back on the bookshelf. <laughs> Daddy, you're very slow at tidying up. Mummy and I are going to win. No, we're going to win. <laughs> we win! No, we win! <laughs> we all win. Look how tidy the room is. Hooray! What a tidy room. <laughs> well done, everyone. <laughs> Mummy, now that we've tidied our room, can we play dollies and dinosaurs again? Yes, you can carry on with your game now. Yippee! Where are my dolls? Where is Mr. Dinosaur? <laughs> Here they are. Grrr. Dinosaur. Ah! It's a dinosaur! Help! Help! Oh dear, the room is untidy again. Oh. Oh. Well, at least it was tidy for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Gardening! Peppa and George are playing at Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Grandpa, catch! Ho, 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 ho. Catch! <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Dinosaur. Grrr. A dinosaur? Ho, 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 ho! Grandpa, what are you doing? I'm planting these seeds. Seeds? 
What do seeds do? Seeds grow into plants. I just make a little hole and put the seed in. Then I cover it with earth and water it. Everything in my garden grows from tiny seeds like these. Even the big apple tree? Oh, yes. This tiny seed will grow into a little apple tree, like this. Ooh. And that little apple tree will grow into a big apple tree, like this. Ouch! Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and inside this apple are more seeds. To make more apple trees. Exactly. Grandpa, Grandpa! I want to plant a seed. Would you like to plant a strawberry seed? Yes, please. This seed will grow into a lovely strawberry plant. First, make a little hole. Then I put the seed in and cover it with earth. Shall I water it for you? No, no. I want to water it. Good. Now we wait for it to grow. Peppa and George are waiting for the seed to grow. It's not doing anything. <laughs> You'll have to be patient, Peppa. It will take a long time to grow. Peppa, George, it's time to go home. But we're waiting for my strawberry plant to grow. I want strawberries for tea. Don't worry, Peppa. Next time you come, the seed will have grown into a plant. I love strawberries. Yes. Come on, Peppa. Bye-bye, Grandpa. Bye-bye, strawberry. <laughs> Grandpa Pig looks after Peppa's strawberry plant. After many days, Grandpa Pig finds a tiny plant growing. Day by day, the plant grows bigger and bigger. Then one day, Grandpa Pig finds something very special. Strawberries! Grandpa, we're back! Peppa and George have come to play again. Grandpa, Grandpa, did my plant grow? Yes! Look! Ooh! Strawberries! <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. Grandpa, can we plant something else? Yes. Now it's George's turn to choose. Yes, you choose, George. Choose a carrot. Grandpa, I think George wants to grow a carrot. George? Would you like to grow a carrot? No. What would you like to grow? George has thought of something he wants to grow. Dinosaur. George wants to grow a dinosaur tree. <laughs> Silly George. Dinosaurs don't grow trees. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur! <laughs> the tree house. Pepper and George are visiting Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig. Granny Pig! Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. Before you come in the house, you must take off your muddy boots. Yes, Granny. <laughs> Peppa, George, look what I've made. Little curtains. Ooh. What are the little curtains for, Granny? It's a surprise. Do you want to see what Grandpa Pig has made for you in the garden? Yes, please. <laughs> Hello, Peppa, George. Look what I've made for you. A tree house. A tree house? For George and me? <laughs> and the little curtains are for your tree house. Hooray! 
<laughs> Pepper and George love their treehouse. Thank you, Granny Pig. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go inside first? Me, me. In you go, then. Before I go in my treehouse, I must take off my muddy boots. I'm in my treehouse. I'm in my treehouse. <laughs> George, would you like to go in the treehouse too? Yes. Who is it? A young pig named George would like to pay a visit. Can he come in? As long as he takes off his muddy boots. George, take your boots off, then you can visit Pepper in the treehouse. <laughs> Who is it? George? <laughs> <laughs> yes? Who is it? It's Mummy Pig. Have you room for any more visitors? Hmm. You have to say the secret words. Then you can come into our house. <laughs> I see. And what are the secret words? I have to whisper them to you. The secret words are... Daddy's big tummy. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Say the secret words. Daddy's big tummy. That's right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> I think those are silly secret words. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, before you come in our house, you must take off your boots. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> There's room for Daddy, too. Say the secret words, Daddy. Can I have different secret words, please? No! <laughs> oh, all right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> That's all right. You can come in now, Daddy. Take your boots off. Uh, uh, I don't think I can fit through the door. <laughs> That's because your tummy's too big. <laughs> I know. Daddy Pig can climb in through the top. Pepper, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are all in the treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, I love our treehouse. I don't want to ever come out. That's nice, Pepper. But are you sure you don't want to visit me in my house? No, thank you, Granny. In that case, Grandpa Pig and I will just have to eat my homemade cookies all by ourselves. Cookies! <laughs> Granny Pig! Here are my homemade cookies. But if you want to come in, you have to say the secret words. That's easy. Daddy's big. Tommy! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> well, I still think that those are very silly secret words. <laughs> Cleaning the car! <laughs> Daddy Pig is taking the family for a drive in the country. Come on! Is everybody ready? <laughs> ready! Yes, Daddy Pig, we're ready. <gasps> but the car isn't ready. Look how messy it is. Oh, it's not too bad. You should see how messy it is inside. <laughs> <gasps> Naughty, messy Daddy. <laughs> Naughty, messy daddy. <laughs> Look at all this rubbish. Newspapers. They're mine. Sweets. They're mine. Mr Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Grrr. We must clean the car before we go for a drive. Oh, right you are, Mummy Pig. Mummy, can we help to clean the car? <laughs> yes, if you want to. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig has some warm, soapy water to wash the car. <laughs> Daddy Pig is washing the roof. <laughs> Mummy Pig is washing the bonnet. <laughs> Pepper is washing the doors. <laughs> George wants to wash the windows. <laughs> but he is too little. <laughs> Poor George. Let me help you. 
<laughs> oh dear, George has dropped his sponge in a muddy puddle. George, you're making the car all muddy again. <laughs> I will wash the mud off. Pepper, don't use the <laughs> muddy water. Oh dear. Pepper has thrown the muddy water all over the car. Oh. Never mind. We can use the garden hose to clean it off. Yes, yes. Can I hold the hose? <laughs> Pepper holds the hose. And Daddy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? <laughs> no need to panic. Oh dear, everyone is wet. <laughs> At least the car has been washed. We've all been washed. <laughs> <laughs> you go and dry yourselves while I polish the car. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Daddy Pig is polishing the car so well he can see his face in it. <laughs> what a funny face! Oh, more funny faces! <laughs> it's Pepper and George. <laughs> and Mummy Pig. What a lovely shiny car. Yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll drive today. Is everybody ready? Ready! Then let's go! I hope you will all keep this car clean today. Yes, Mummy Pig. Yes, Mummy Pig. Ah! <laughs> Mummy, now you've made the car all muddy again. <laughs> Naughty mummy. <laughs> Naughty, messy mummy. <laughs> Daddy puts up a picture. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have a new picture of Pepper and George. We should put this lovely new picture on the wall. Leave it to me. I am the DIY expert of the house. Are you sure you can do it? Of course. I'll just put a nail in the wall and hang the picture on it. Very good. I'm just off to visit Granny and Grandpa Pig. I'll see you later. And please don't make a mess. Mess? <laughs> Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Daddy, can we help put up the picture? You can watch, and then you'll learn how to do it properly. First, I need a tape measure. And a pencil. That is where I'm going to put the nail. Don't break the wall, Daddy. <laughs> now I need a hammer and a nail. Stand back, children, and watch a craftsman at work. Daddy Pig is going to knock the nail into the wall. Don't break the wall, Daddy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. <laughs> Easy as pie. Ooh, it's not meant to do that. Daddy Pig has made a big crack in the wall. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the wall. It's just a tiny crack. The picture will hide it. There. I can still see the crack, Daddy. Yes. I'll just take the nail out and fill in the crack. Don't make a mess, Daddy. Oh, don't be silly, Pepper. Oh, it's coming out. Whoa! Oh, Daddy.
Daddy. <laughs> now you really have broken the wall. Mm. Do you think Mummy will notice? Uh, yes, I think she might. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, George. <laughs> what are they doing? Daddy, we can see you. <laughs> Daddy Pig has to mend the wall before Mummy Pig comes home. Brick, please. <laughs> First, Daddy Pig fills the hole with bricks. <laughs> there. <laughs> Next, Daddy Pig puts plaster over the bricks. <laughs> Easy as pie. Then, Daddy Pig paints the wall. Good as new. The wall is mended. Hooray! <laughs> but look at all the mess they have made. Goodness me. We'd better clean up before Mummy comes back. First, Daddy Pig quickly washes Pepper and George. Then Pepper vacuums the floor. And Daddy Pig tidies up the tools. <gasps> Mummy! Mummy Pig is home. Mummy! <gasps> Mummy's here! Quick, pretend nothing has happened. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what have you been doing? Oh, nothing. <laughs> yes, I can see you've been doing nothing. I thought you were going to put the picture up. In all the excitement, Daddy Pig has forgotten to put the picture up. Oh. Well, I'm no expert, but I'm sure it's quite easy. There. Hmm. Yes, that did look quite easy. But when you did it, Daddy, it looked really hard. Shush, Peppa, don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Babysitting. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going out for the evening. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are going to babysit. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Thank you, Yig! Papa Egg! Hello, my little ones! Hello! Peppa, George, into your beds, quick! <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. Good night, sleep tight. Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. <coughs> what little darlings. <coughs> now go to sleep quickly. Yes, Mummy. So well behaved. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are leaving for their evening out. Pepper and George are so good. They just fell asleep when Mummy Pig told them to. This babysitting is easy. George? George, are you awake? <laughs> 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 what strange noises. I wonder if we should check upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I never. Fast asleep. So, it wasn't Pepper and George making all that noise. I can't hear anything. I think they really have fallen asleep. Let's watch some television. Gardening. Today we are talking about roses. Oh, I love gardening programs. 
The gifts gate is a particularly thorny rose. To prune it, start by lopping off the head and then snip away the budding shoots. Granny Pig? Pepper? George? You should be in bed asleep. George and I aren't sleepy at all. <coughs> Can we watch TV with you? Well, I suppose watching a little TV might make you sleepy. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Icelandic roses are a rare treat for the discerning horticulturalist, but they are prone to lobbing in temperate habitats. Mm. This program is very boring. Mm. Grandpa Pig, can you play that game where you throw us up and catch us? OK, but just one turn each. <laughs> Whee! Oh, oh. oh, you seem heavier than before. <laughs> <laughs> now it's George's turn. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Whee! <laughs> higher, higher. <laughs> Whee! Maybe Grandpa Pig is a bit tired. I know. <laughs> Granny Pig, let's play catch. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're it. Catch us if you can. <laughs> 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 Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are back home. I hope our little piggies are asleep. Hello? Anyone here? <laughs> the little piggies are asleep, and so are the big piggies. <laughs> <laughs> The dinosaur is lost. George's favourite toy is Mr Dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> George loves Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Sometimes George likes to scare Pepper with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Too scary! <laughs> <laughs> At supper time, Mr. Dinosaur sits next to George. Uh, I beg your pardon? Was that you, George? Or was it Mr. Dinosaur? Dinosaur. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> At bath time, George shares his bath with Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Good night, Pepper. Good night, Bobby. Good night, George. And good night, Mr. Dinosaur. <coughs> when George goes to bed, Mr. Dinosaur is tucked up with him. George's favourite game is throwing Mr. Dinosaur up in the air Whee! and catching him when he falls back down. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and Daddy Pig are playing draughts. <laughs> I win, Daddy! <laughs> oh, well done, Pepper. George? George, what's the matter? I'm sore. George, have you lost Mr. Dinosaur? George has lost Mr. Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. We'll find Mr. Dinosaur. It's a job for a detective. Daddy, what is a detective? A detective is a very important person who is good at finding things. Me, me! I'm good at finding things. All right. Pepper is the detective. George, I'm the detective. <laughs> I will help you find Mr Dinosaur. Maybe. The detective should ask George some simple questions. George, where's Mr. Dinosaur? George does not know where Mr. Dinosaur is. The detective could try and guess where Mr. Dinosaur might be. I know. I know where he is. <laughs> George always has Mr. Dinosaur with him in the bath. So Mr. Dinosaur is in the bath. Mr. Dinosaur is not in the bath. Oh. 
I know. I know where Mr. Dinosaur is. <laughs> George always has Mr. Dinosaur in his bed at night. <coughs> See, that's where he is. Mr. Dinosaur is not in George's bed. Oh. Maybe we should try the garden. Yes, the garden! <coughs> I was going to say that. Where is Mr. Dinosaur? Mr. Dinosaur is very hard to find. Oh, Mr. Dinosaur isn't anywhere. George, you do love to throw Mr. Dinosaur in the air. I wonder if this time you threw Mr. Dinosaur just a bit too high. There he is! There he is! I saw him first! <coughs> well done, Pepper. You really are a very good detective. <laughs> I'm sure. George is so happy Wee. to have Mr. Dinosaur back again. Wee. Maybe it isn't a good idea to play with dinosaurs near trees. <laughs> 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 Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have been tidying the house. <laughs> Mummy Pig and I found this old box in the attic. <sighs> Ooh. Can anyone guess what's inside? Hmm. Nope. <laughs> it's full of musical instruments. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they are a bit old and dusty. <sighs> Ah, chew! <laughs> <laughs> this is the violin I used to play when I was little. Mummy, can you play your violin? I haven't played it for a long time. Please, Mummy, please play it. <laughs> I hope I haven't forgotten how. <laughs> Can I play the violin? Hold it like this. Yes, Mummy. Oh. oh dear. I do not think it is meant to sound like that. <coughs> George wants to try. Hold it like this, George. <coughs> oh. oh. That does not sound quite right either. The violin is too hard to play. Pepper, maybe you would do better with this tin drum. Thank you, Daddy. That sounds better. Pepper loves playing the drum. Oh, lovely. Yes, it sounds very nice. This is Daddy Pig's old accordion. I used to play this to Mummy Pig when we first met. Oh, Daddy Pig. I remember this tune. <laughs> George wants to play the accordion too. Are you sure, George? The accordion is quite difficult. George, the accordion is almost as difficult to play as my drum. <laughs> OK, George. <laughs> Maybe George is a bit too little to play the accordion. Daddy, what other instruments are in the box? Just this horn. Can I try? You have to blow it very hard. <gasps> that does not sound right. It's impossible. I think I used to be able to play it. <gasps> that really does not sound right. <laughs> Maybe it just needs someone big and strong like me. <sighs> that does not sound right either. <sighs> Peppa's right. It is impossible to play. Never mind, Daddy Pig. Just stick to the accordion. <clears throat> you play it beautifully. <laughs> well, I do play it quite nicely, even if I say so myself. And I'll play my violin. And I will play my drum. 
Mummy Pig plays the violin. Daddy Pig plays the accordion. Peppa plays the drum. But what instrument will George play? <laughs> George is blowing the horn. Mummy couldn't play the horn. And Daddy couldn't play it. And even I couldn't play it. <laughs> But George can play it. Pig wears glasses. He needs to wear glasses to see clearly. When Daddy Pig wears his glasses, everything looks fine. But when Daddy Pig takes his glasses off, he can't see things clearly. Everything looks a bit soft and fuzzy. So it is very important that Daddy Pig knows where his glasses are. Sometimes Daddy Pig loses his glasses. Peppa, George, have you seen Daddy Pig's glasses? He can't find them anywhere. No, Mummy. Peppa and George do not know where Daddy Pig's glasses are. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot see a thing without them and it makes him very grumpy. Without his glasses on, Daddy Pig cannot read his newspaper. This is ridiculous. I can't see anything. Somebody must have put my glasses somewhere. Do you remember where you last put them, Daddy Pig? When I don't wear them, I always put them in my pocket. But they aren't there now. Daddy, can we help find your glasses? Good idea, Peppa. If you find them, Daddy will stop being so grumpy. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are looking for Daddy's glasses. Peppa looks under the newspaper, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks on top of the television, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. Let's look upstairs in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are looking in Mummy and Daddy Pig's bedroom. George, be careful not to knock anything over. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Peppa looks under the pillows, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks in Daddy's slippers. But the glasses are not there either. <coughs> <coughs> Let's look in the bathroom. <laughs> Pepper and George are looking in the bathroom. The glasses are not in the bath. Oh. The glasses are not in the toilet. Oh. <sighs> it's too difficult. Peppa and George cannot find Daddy Pig's glasses anywhere. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find Daddy's glasses. Oh dear, now what can we do? I suppose I'll just have to learn to do without them. If I move slowly, I won't bump into things. There they are! Daddy's glasses! Daddy Pig, you were sitting on them all the time. Oh. <laughs> Silly Daddy. <laughs> I don't know how they got there. 
<laughs> I wonder how. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may have been a bit silly, Daddy Pig, but at least you're not grumpy anymore. I was not grumpy. <laughs> 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 Treasure hunt! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are making a treasure hunt for Pepper and George. Granny Pig is drawing the treasure map. Grandpa Pig is burying the treasure in a secret place in the garden. Grandpa Pig, have you finished? Pepper and George will be here soon. <laughs> no need to panic, Granny Pig. Pepper and her family are here. Quick, Grandpa Pig. They're here. Oh, almost done. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Grandpa Pig oh. just finished in time. Oh. Granny Pig, we're here. Thank you, Pig. Hello, my little ones. Grandpa Pig. Papa Pig. Ahoy there, me heart is. Pepper, George, we've made you a treasure hunt. Somewhere in the garden is buried treasure. Wow, treasure. Where is it? Oh, you have to look for it. Here's a treasure map for Pepper. And George could wear my pirate hat. Ahoy there, Captain George. <laughs> The map is a bit difficult. Daddy, can you help? Of course, Pepper. I'm very good with maps. Uh, it is a bit difficult. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're holding the map upside down. Yes, I thought as much. <laughs> it's easy. The Red Cross shows where the treasure is. But where in the garden are those two apple trees? Hmm, I don't know. Would you like a clue? Yes, please. The first clue is in a bottle. <coughs> but where is the bottle? I can see it. <laughs> Pepper has found the first clue. A message in a bottle. Look, everyone. Here's the bottle. Well done, Pepper. Let's see what the message says. Oh, it's a message from a pirate. Mummy, can you read the pirate's message? Hmm. This pirate has very bad handwriting. The pirate's handwriting is excellent. No, I can't make it out at all. The pirate is clearly written. Follow the arrows. Follow the arrows? <laughs> George has found the second clue. Sticks in the shape of an arrow. Look, they point this way. <laughs> Peppa and George are following the arrows. <laughs> Look, George, a key. Peppa has found the next clue. A key. Well done, Peppa. <coughs> now you just have to find the treasure chest that it unlocks. But there aren't any more clues. Maybe you should take another look at the map. Look, Pepper, the map has two apple trees on it. Here's an apple tree. And here's an apple tree. So the treasure must be here. Let's take a look. Oh, dear. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Hang on. There is something here. Treasure! Hooray! Hooray! Well done! Well done! <laughs> I've got the key to open it. Wow! I can't believe it! Gold coins! They must be worth a fortune. It's better than that. They're not gold coins. They're chocolate coins. And there's a chocolate coin for everybody. Hooray! <laughs> Pepper and George love chocolate coins. Everyone loves chocolate coins. Granny, Grandpa, this is the best treasure hunt ever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>